here we are at Charlotte's Well. It turns out that Bob wasn't making it up. <laughs> there really is this interesting blue hole of water that is the source of the water in the, what is it, the West Chico? Yeah, West Branch. West Branch of the Chico. So, lovely day. Very interesting water. And Bob wasn't making it up. That's the most <laughs> amazing thing. Wow. A swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. And this is where we used to go skinny dipping with Charlotte. <clears throat> now, so what's the story again about how Charlotte? it came to be marked on the maps as Charlotte's Well? Well, there's a, a poem. I don't know if I brought it or not. But the song. There's a famous song called Charlotte the Harlot the Cowpuncher's Whore. And... Charlotte was a great friend of the cowboy. And so when I came out here and saw this thing and found it, I decided that in honor of Charlotte, I would name it Charlotte's Well, which every cowboy would be happy to get to. And it is out in the middle of nowhere. And this is a, a uranium test pit? It was a uranium test well guy I talked to said that originally it had a teepee on it. In other words, something to control the flow. A lot of the uranium wells in this area that they drill to test for uranium do flow. And this one's one that flowed. And he said one day he came out and there was a little bit of a leak on the side and then about a week later the, the teepee was gone and all he had was this hole of water, and it was running 700 gallons of water per minute wow. out of it. So no uranium, but a swimming hole. Right. How deep is it? We don't know telling. No telling? Maybe. No telling. As Maybe. far as I know, no one has... I don't know the original depth of the well that they drilled. I don't think... It was a wildcatter, so probably not even the state engineer knows how deep it is. And um, we don't know, you know, how, how, how deep it goes at this width, and then where does it neck down? No one knows. As far as I know, it's never been tested. It's probably been tested for water quality, but that's it. Well, it may not be the blue hole, huh? Right. Um, so you would think there's copper or something down there that's making it green. don't know the answer to that but you can smell a little sulfur as John pointed out so when I left New Mexico said, well, I said, well, what about Charlotte's Well? What's happening there? And they said, what are you talking about? I said, well, that's the source of the water in the Royal Chico. They said, no, it's not. It's, it's way over there by Grants. And so I had to bring them out and show them that this is the source, and it flows down the Chico. Definitely up here at the headwaters of the Chico. Well, yeah, we're at upper, although the Chico goes way on over, you know, all the way, many, many more miles toward the Continental Divide. I mean, I can see the water bubbling up out there. Yeah. It's bubbling up out in the middle. Absolutely. can be in New Mexico. So here I am with Robert Alexander and cousin John here. John Reynolds. Robert is a distinguished retired 40-year BLM
employee range management and I was talking to Bob about the fact that here we are on public land, it's BLM land, and we have this fabulous pool here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, anybody that's been in the southwest and here in particular hopefully would understand what a valuable resource this is. I was talking to Bob about, you know, due to some of the conditions we can see, which aren't all that bad really, why is this pool completely fenced off and reserved for like recreational use, being as there's plenty of flow from the pool down the Chico Arroyo. It could be out here. I mean, if, if you want a pool that's a long way from anywhere and you want privacy, this would be a well, ideal even, spot. Even to see what kind of plant life would grow and what life would grow, yeah. just to see what would grow. Well, I saw it on a map. I saw this place called Charlotte's Well on an old BLM map, and I knew Bob, and I was, I was talking to him about the Chico Arroyo, and I was like, where the heck is that thing? Well, and here we are. The Royal's right there. Once again, John is in the lead on the way back. 